Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is just a quick video. Just hey, hey, you're here with your lovely wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Laura's filming behind. We're just here to take a quick look at our DVD slash Blu-ray slash movie, whatever collection. Yeah. So It'll be interesting because we actually have quite a diverse range of We have a tastes. really weird collection of DVDs. So we thought, yeah, we'd, we'd kind of share it and, and then you can kind of tell us down below. Yeah. You know, what your favourite movies are as well. You Although, can't. these aren't all favourites. They no. just happen to be the ones we own. <laughs> um, Laura's not going to show up because we've got actually got, like, birthday cards up there at the moment. But we've got, got a whole bunch of pop figures above uh, the up DVD. Above. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll show them at some point. Yeah. But we'll stick to DVDs in this one. So, so, I've got a taste for cartoons and animation and kids' films. So, <laughs> Three Ninjas Kick Back, along with Hulk Hogan and High Noon. The best. Cheesy, but, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm pretty sure, like, more than half the collection. I'd say probably three quarters of yours. Yeah, all, we, we have a lot of Disney stuff. A majority of it's mine. You only like a couple of real classic Disney ones. Yeah. Uh, let's see, it goes. Yeah. Delma <laughs> Dalmatians. Oh, 3,000, 2012. Yeah, you can tell these two are mine. I like sort of more serious, kind so, of darker movies. Um, we're trying to, like, convert over to Blu-ray. So we're trying to find movies we really like in DVD over to Blu-ray. Simply because um, the they're much more robust. Yes. And we have small children, and we do we don't let them play with them. But I suppose when they get older, there's always a chance they'll get to them, and if they're Blu-ray, they might stand a chance. But <laughs> otherwise, they're doomed. Which is why you've got quite a few <laughs> different. Yeah, mix some of, DVDs, some Blu-rays. So you go to the Bugs Life goof. A goofy movie, which is actually. In other words, of, we're back to Nathan's movies. A goofy movie is actually one of my favourites. We, but we should say here that we don't agree on most movies. Like no. if we, we decide, oh, we'll have a movie night or something. We will spend like all day trying to pick the movies for that Even night. And Netflix. sometimes we still can't decide. We decide. We like both like Ace Ventura. Which is why we have both. Yep. Got the Aladdin. You got the Aladdin and the King of Thieves, which I think is the third movie, which is awful. You don't have the second one, which is actually not too bad. Got Elsa in Wonder movie, Elsa in Wonderland movies, which this is one of my obsessions. Is different versions Gee, of the Alice in Wonderland kind of story. Um, there's quite a few of them. Obviously, like that Disney one, and then there's like the modern ones with Johnny Depp. We don't have it in our collection, but the sequel to Elsa in Wonderland with Johnny Depp is actually a lot better than I think what people are painting it. Yeah. Um, what is it through the Looking Glass? Which is not actually is, is, based. I think it's better than. Yeah, but this it's not one. actually based on a book. It's like its own sort of. It's taken a lot of creative license, yeah. aside from having the same characters as the original books. And but you've surprisingly got a lot of. I have a lot of different yeah. versions. In fact, there's another one you just dropped. Which actually just came grabbing free one. with. Um... That one. My favorite one of all time um, is actually a made for TV. Like two part movie. Is that the one with Whoopi Goldberg in it? No. No. And it's actually accurate or relatively accurate to the the couple of well, like maybe first you'll books, get it for your so. birthday. Who knows? Well, my birthday's already gone. Uh, Aristocats is basically good. One good of to your... see Nathan's forgotten my birth when it was like. Uh, the Aristocats is one of your favourite Disney films. <laughs> yes, uh, although that's your DVD, ones. really. I mean, I wouldn't. Not something I sit down and watch. And this is one I actually own, but don't actually. I haven't actually seen, but I've heard good things about. It. It's one of those sort of underrated Disney ones. Mm, I haven't seen it either. No, to be honest. so, so we, we should say that we haven't seen everything here. Uh, you got Austin Powers, the, the Shagadelic box, which got all three movies, back when Mike Myers wasn't doing racist gurus. You got The Avengers, which is really nice, sort of easy to watch flick. Mm -hmm. Back to the Future trilogy, which, you know, I love, and you used to until your ex kept watching it like every day, so you can't all stand it anymore. All the time. Yep. You got Bambi and... <laughs> so we, I, I really, really like um, Christmas, crappy Christmas movies. So every, like, lead up to Christmas, we try and find some really bad ones. So oh that's boy, one of them. We've felt... Yeah, we've, got we've watched Claus, some bad ones. We've got, some, we've got Santa Claus Conquers a Martian somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> that's the original um, Batman the movie. Yep. Which... Awesome! Got, Big Batman fans. I think this is the original, like, cinema serials. You have the complete 1949 movie serial collection, so... Yep. Not a lot of people know that actually exists, so that's quite a, a cool one. We actually have the, um, it's in the garage at the moment. It's the original, like, 1960s 60s Batman, the limited edition one with, like, the Batmobile. So yeah. you get the Batman, the original anthology, you know, all the Tim Burton Well, Burton not ones. original. 
But yeah, the the two two of the first ones are yeah. uh, Tim Burton, yeah. And you got Batman um, and Robin, which is hilarious. Love Batman and Batman Returns. They're, they're my two favourites, probably overall. Uh, yeah, the, love the Penguin. You got the Beast, which is actually like a, a made for TV movie, which is actually quite a good um, big monster film. Yeah, I really like uh, giant creature movies. Yeah. Not not all of them, but we've seen I some do awful like ones. But, oh, um, Raptor. 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 Oh. Bad, bad movie. So yeah, and then you got like Beauty and the Beast, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. That's one of my childhood favorites, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Not I, one of your favorites. I don't like it. No, you got yeah. Beethoven, the Dog Gone Collection. So how many of those uh, are there? The is Beethoven it, movies. Is there four in here. I think there's four or five. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six in there. Uh, Shouldn't it say on the front? <laughs> best movie. It includes all six films. Oh yeah. God. Six of them. I don't think we've seen all six. I think maybe like the first four yeah. I've seen. Beverly Hillbillies. That was one that, that was surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. You got Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, which was the very first movie we saw. We started dating. It is. Well, no, no, no. It was no, up. That is a lie. The first movie we saw was Up. We went to the cinemas to see it on our second date. Wow. And then you got Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, which is one of those sequels that not many people actually know. But we 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 have seen yeah. it and have it, as you can see. Black Cauldron, which is not one of my favourites. But, but it's Disney, so you picked it up anyway. Blues Brothers, which is a really fantastic movie. I love the but soundtrack. Long. I love the actors. I like it. I like everything about it. Mm. But yes, it's very long. Got Brave, which is one that I sort of, it's okay, I sort of forgot most about it. I haven't seen it yet. One of my oh, favourite childhood movies. I hated this movie as a kid. This is quite a um, messed weird. up movie. Weird. <laughs> yeah, it's... Really weird. It's really dark for a Disney Oh, yeah, especially movie. when the air conditioner commits suicide. Yeah. Spoiler! Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you got a three pack, which I think we brought along for Bring It On. Uh, yeah, so I put this, hang on. Sorry about my shoddy camera work here. Um, so we've got this three pack, what I have, um, which is number two, three, and four, I think, in the Bring It On series, and didn't have the first one in it. So I had to buy, because at the time it was all I could find, I didn't pay $10 for it, was this three pack so I could get the first movie. The other two are terrible, but... Yes, I do recall you making me watch all those movies at some point. I was just, I had them on in the background while you were doing something else. And here we have Bruce Campbell. In Bubba Hotep. More wacky movies. Yeah, what is it? I think the mummy steals souls out of bums. I don't know. Um, quite an interesting movie. And yeah, definitely not for the kids. <laughs> and this is one I've, I've gotten because um, I've heard it, it's a classic Ooh, and, and I've, you know, really want to see it. I just haven't had time to see so, it. So, yeah, yeah we, have, we haven't watched everything here, just purely um, lack of time. We've picked them up when we've seen them kind of cheap and then, yeah. The Charlie Chocolate Factor, I think, is the... Tim we do Burton have one. the Willy Wonka because yeah, they're differently named. So Willy Wonka is the original, and but Charlie it's down Shaw. at W because we're kind of in alphabetical order here. Yeah, Cinderella, Clay of the Chance of Meeple is actually really good for a non sort of Pixar DreamWorks film. Yeah. Um, you know, Clue is Tim Curry, isn't it? As yeah. The, um, it's like like the board game Clue or Cluedo, um, we call it here. And you've got um, it's got multiple endings. Yeah, which really is strange movie, but well worth watching, I'd say. And Terry Pratchett's Color of Magic. I'm a big Terry Pratchett fan, and Neil Gaiman. And Tim Curry's in there. Yeah, so Tim he's, Curry's he's amazing. always great. Yep. You've got Con Air with always a good Nicholas Cage, a bit of cheesy action. Constantine with Keanu Reeves, is it? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I always like that movie. Yeah, movie. it's one of his better films. I think so. Cool Runnings, which is another one of my favourite ones. What, John Candy, I think, in yep. it. It's pretty he's no longer here. Rest in peace. And every Aussie has to have Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, Crocodile oh, Dundee. Cool. The Crow, it's a pity he died. Yeah, that's was... a movie um, well worth watching if you haven't seen it. But again, not for the kids. Obviously, it's no. um, MA. Oh. These are obviously Australian ratings. So. <sighs> Cry baby. Huge Johnny Depp fan. Me, that is, not yeah. Nathan. Um, yeah, yeah, one yeah. of his, my, my English teacher in high school, actually, um, we had to do... An essay on uh, an actor or someone in like the public eye that we, you know, liked, and um, I did Johnny Depp, and she was like, "Oh, have you seen Cry Baby?" I was like, "What?" Oh, it's, it's a weird movie. <laughs> she actually had it on VHS and oh. lent it to me, which was really yeah. nice. I mean, she was just Day a teacher. Tomorrow, which goes to like 2012, and that's your one. It doesn't go with it, but but I mean, it's, it's the same sort of vein. All right, we're just going to move down to the next row. All right, so I've taken over camera duties because Laura's arm was getting sore. Yeah, it's so. really hard holding the camera up. I'm not used to it. Uh, anyway, so we have one of mine, um, Death Becomes. It's actually in plastic because I haven't watched it. It's a recent one like I've I've got. Um, definitely a funny one. I can't forget it's got Bruce Willis in it. Yeah, Goldie Horn and Meryl Streep. So well worth to watch that one. Oh, yes, Death Race with what, Stallone and a whole bunch of other people. That's a weird movie. And, and you really like this one, don't you, Demolition, Demolition Man. Man? Yep. I am the law. Or is that Judge Dredd? 
I don't know. I've I never seen Judge, Judge Dredd. Yeah, Bruce or Willis. Love Die Hard, or at least the first three. Yeah, the 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 rest sort of get a bit mm, sort of sleep. Is there them. five now? I think so. We've only got the quadrilogy. We don't yeah. have if there's a fifth one. I can't remember if there was or not. Uh, so yeah. Dodgeball, which is a fantastic oh, movie. Seen that so many times. So funny. Donnie Brasco. Um, and that's ugh. one I've got because Johnny Depp's in it. I haven't actually watched uh, yet. It's not really my sort of movie, but I figured I'd give it a go. I think it was like $2 or something new, that one, one day. Um, Dragonheart and Dragonheart the New Beginning. I remember beginning. watching that when I was real young. And you got Dreamscape, which is next. Now, that's a weird movie. They sort of have to go into dreams and battle out, or they control each other via dreams. Look at that artwork. That's, um... I don't remember watching that. Have we watched no, that together? No, uh, you fell asleep through it because you were really tired. I think it's the same <laughs> artist that and does, that's like... that's what I thought of that. Does, a, does the Indiana Jones artwork. So, mm. it's a really good film if you can pick it up. Mm-hmm. We have Jewel next. Which is um, another one of Spielberg's, I think one of his first movies. Yeah. Um, my dad would be proud. He was a, a big fan of Jewel. Dumbo. And The Emperor's Some New Groove, which Disney. is actually... It's a bit dusty. <laughs> the Emperor's New Groove is actually surprisingly funny. <clears throat> we have Eric the Viking. Which oh, I think which is stuck has some people one. from um, Monty Python work on it, from what yeah, I recall. Yeah, John Cleese is yeah. in it. So okay. Escape from New York uh -huh. and L.A. L.A. Again, yeah. cheesy. Oh, boy, this one, he surfs and... Uh, cheesy action. Uh, yeah. You've got to have E.T. in your collection. Yeah, E.T., Evil Dead, fantastic films. Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. It's really good because they don't... What I like about them is that they're all very different. I know sometimes like Saw 1, 2, 3, 4, and you know, sort of horror movie have got a lot of sort of sequels. Um, they're all very samey. Um, the Evil Dead trilogy really changes it up, especially the third film. So definitely not for the kids again. That no. one. <laughs> Falling down, one of my That's favorite one of your movies. Favorites. Yep. Um, we've got the six movie collection of Fast and the Furious. We're up to eight now, I think. Yeah. Um, is it the fate? The fate of the Furious yeah. number eight. That's out. Yeah. So we're a couple behind with that. Fifth Element's one of my. Sort of I really favorites. like that one. It's another one we agree on. Yep. Um, Final Destination Thrilogy. I don't watch <laughs> any of those ones because they give me bad anxiety. Yeah, so, so Nathan doesn't really like those, like, um, end, end of the, of the world. world. No. Not that that's the end of the world, but that, that no. type of feeling to the movie. No. Finding Nemo, probably one of my favourite Yeah, that's a good Disney one. movies. The You've got to have the Flintstones. The Flintstones, the first one is great. The second one is great in a terrible way. It's so yeah. awful that it's worth watching. But, you know, you're, you watch the cartoons as a kid. Mm. You've got to have that. Blubber. Well, another good Robin Williams one. And another giant creature one of mine, mm. Frankenfish. Not the best one, but a bit of fun. Well, maybe not fun, <laughs> but yeah, the classic, I find them fun. Classic Frankenstein with Boris Karloff. Right next to Frankenweenie. <laughs> which is another great um, sort of stop animation one. Uh, we have Freaks. Which is a, a classic movie about uh, like circus people and all that. So it's a, it's a really thought-provoking movie, that one. Mm. Friday the 13th, of course. Um, got to have that in your collection. And then we've got the Freddy vs. Jason. I like how we've got, yeah, Freddy vs. Jason, but what? It's just weird how we've just got that one. And, <laughs> um, from Hell, another Johnny Depp one, but I don't yeah. mind that one. It's actually yeah. not a bad movie. Not not like, you know, no. the best one in the world. You got Frozen. Frozen. We've got so much Disney stuff. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Yeah, obvious. very important to have that. <laughs> uh, Ghost Rider, which was a very polarizing film. You really like it. And I, I like it. You're not really. I don't into mind it. it. It's, it's, it's better than a lot of other superhero films of that era. Yeah. Like, uh, what is it? Electra and Catwoman oh, and all that. They, well, were, they were dreadful. Catwoman is just awful. Yeah, Grease. Yeah. Um, it's the 30th anniversary edition. It actually comes with a leather, a leather jacket, jacket which like we, slip. Which is it's a T bird jacket or something. I yeah, think. it's somewhere else, though. Because yeah. it, it doesn't really go on the shelf very well. No. Gremlins and Grumpy and Grumpy are old men there for yeah, you. It's, yeah, I, I actually used to watch them when I was really young. So, mm. We're looking forward to seeing the second one. Guardians um, of the Galaxy. Yeah, I really two. enjoyed that. Guardians of the Galaxy. The original Halloween. But just the first one. Just the first one. We don't have one. the rest we for some not. reason. <laughs> We've got the Hangover Trilogy where the first the first one's great, the second one's okay, and the third one is... I can't even remember. That's how good I it could, was. Yeah, I'd pass on that. Um, bit of a pack here with um, Adam Sandler. And a couple of other. They're all the films that I basically ones. watched when I was younger. Twins and Liar Liar. Yeah. Great oh, movies. I've seen Kindergarten Cops so many times. And nice big box set of Harry Potter. You're a wizard, Harry. One of the limited edition yeah, sets. Well. It opens up and they're yeah. all in there. So I love all the books as well mm -hmm. of those. Got Hellboy. The I like how it's like the collection. Of all what two, <laughs> two movies. movies? Yeah, I saw the first one at the cinema and hated it. But I actually like the, the second. The Golden one. Army, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think it flows better. Yeah. 
Hercules. Um, you have to see if you haven't seen it. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but the um, what was the the, the point of view gun at the end? Which oh one? yeah, that's fantastic. We could use one of those. Everyone could. Um, Hogfather, another, another Terry, Terry Pratchett. Pratchett one. Yeah, it's really dusty up here. So forgive if you're seeing bits flying around. Four movies of Home Alone. <laughs> First two were good, and then they drastically go down quality. Yeah, and then we've got this three-pack here. It's pretty Rick Moranis had to quit acting. Mm. I think his wife passed away and he wanted to focus on like parenting or something, but mm. yeah, good films. Hook, not the best film in the world, but... No, it's it's one you want to... You, you just have better when you're a kid, I think. Yes. Yeah. Hotel Transylvania, which was better than what I thought it was going to be, so I picked yep. it up because it was cheap. Got the uh, original House of Wax. Yep. Uh, Hunchback classic. of Notre Dame. That's just the first one, I think. We don't have the second. I'm actually a big fan of, so I don't even know why I have that one, to be honest. Because it's Disney and you bought it. Yeah. <laughs> the Hunger Games, the first one, which is a deluxe one. We've only seen the first movie, mm. too. We have to watch the others at some point. I uh, know what you did last summer. One of those, you know, yeah. ones that I watched in high school and just sort of Ooh. thought, better keep. <laughs> yeah, Ice Age 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yep. We don't have the fifth one, but I'm not particularly fussed about getting it judging from they, the, uh, for me they went downhill yeah just slowly as they you went inception in a stupid size box yeah it's really tall that it's one it's a blu-ray but look at it it's it's, all, it's probably taller it's bigger than, than the dvd i think yeah. yeah stupid all right time to get down to the next row so third row down we have We're up to i <laughs> i we have the incredibles um i really like the film i think you don't mind it was all right uh, i'm looking forward to the second one which i think has been bumped back release date which is a pity but, i'm so. i'm really not a fan of animation no it was just me. I mean, I have a couple that I like, but yeah. One of my favourite series is Indiana Jones Complete Adventure, which I think <clears> has all four. I like the trilogy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's got the King of Crystal Skull. Yeah. yeah. Look, a lot of crap's hang, uh, sort of put on the fourth movie, but it does have some good action scenes, and mm. it does have Harrison Ford in it. I, I'd, I'd rather have just stuck with the trilogy, but that's me. They're making another one's coming Same with soon. Star Wars. I like just the original trilogy. The original Iron Man, which is great. James and Giant Peach. We really should get the other Iron Man. Yeah. yeah. Iron Man, Iron Man. James and Giant Peach, which is one of those ones that not many people remember, but it's actually not a bad sort of animation. I think it's stop motion, actually. Mm. Jaws and... Is that three movie collections? Does that include Jaws 1? Oh, no, this is another one where there's a three-pack. But it's it, only two, three, and four. Ninja Turtles, the original movies, do the same thing, which is really irritating. Mm. One of my favourite Christmas movies. It's just so stupid. It's funny. It's just, yeah, it's never fantastic. enjoyed that one. It's funny. I actually like Christmas movies. I love Christmas, but that one. Jumanji's fantastic. We actually have the board game. It's a thorough. We own the board game. Not so fantastic, the movie. So the movie's all right, but yeah, the you, board game is, yeah. Jungle Jungle <laughs> with Tim Allen, which I never really sort of. I enjoyed with. as a kid. The original Jungle Book, the Jurassic Park collection, which I think just has. Is not up to date. No, it has Jurassic World. Yeah, but there's another one coming. There's another one coming. It's dust. God, where's slack? Yeah. We've got the Karate Kid, parts one, two, and three. And part one's great, and part two and three get a bit weird. Kill Bill, back to my things. You can yeah. tell which ones mine are. They're the, they're the darker sort of movies, aren't they? The more yep. morbid sort of storyline. King Kong vs. Godzilla, a mm -hmm. classic. Yeah, I don't know who it's a classic to, but it is. Sorry, Bowie. The Labyrinth, fantastic movie. They're remaking it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hate it when they do that. Just leave it. It's fantastic as is. <laughs> Lane the Tramp's great movie. Lane the Tramp 2, not so good. Lake, Lake Placid, Placid, another, another one, one of my favourite giant. creature ones. It's actually yep. a pretty good one. Yeah. Seen that quite a lot. We have the Lego movie, which is actually the collector's edition. This comes with um, an outer box and a Lego minifigure, I think. Yeah, but, but we can't store that on the shelf. It's a bit too big. Yeah, collector's editions are great, but size-wise, yeah. This is hilarious. There's a there's like 10 or 12 of these Leprechaun movies now. But the first one is like classic in the... I don't know. It's... Yeah, classic. <laughs> you get the Lion King trilogy um, on Blu-ray. Um, it's yeah. actually really hard to find on the Blu-ray sort of collector's edition. They um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the live-action one. To be honest, I want to see what they do with that. Although you were telling me something about the actors the other day that were going to be like Timon or Pumbaa or something. Yeah, and I wasn't too thrilled with whoever Can't remember who they were. Yeah, you got Little Mermaid, Little Shop of Horrors, which is actually that's a good movie. Yeah, it's not a, a musical one. but dark sort of musical um. Lord of the Rings, you're a big Lord of the Rings fan. We just have the basic sort of three film. Thing I've here. got a whole bunch of other like collector's oh, editions, but one, I, I've got them for collecting purposes, yeah. which is why the regular ones out here. The Lorax 3D, which is actually a fairly, it's actually really, Zeus. really faithful retelling of the book. Yeah. The book itself is quite long. Not my thing. Love actually one of your favorite movies. One of my favorites, yeah. It's a mad, 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 mad world. That's, That's really long, isn't it? That one, I think. Uh, yeah. 
Um, I think AVGN it's... is one of his favourite movies too. On like lazy disc, he was saying it's like five or six discs. Yeah. How long, long I'm it? pretty sure. Uh, there somewhere? 154. Yeah, 154 minutes, so, so quite a lengthy one. And I'm pretty sure there's a much newer movie called Rat Race. Yes, which has um, got um, Rowan Atkinson yeah, a in it. Of and it's kind of the same kind of story, oh, but yeah. done in a much dorkier sort of way. Got Mad Max collection, which I think so. And we've got Looper up the top there. Sorry, I just had to Which we haven't that actually one. seen yet. It's where Bruce Willis goes older and younger and something. I don't know. It seems interesting. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> uh, you got Paul Blart Mark Cop. <laughs> Paul blah, blah, blah. Blah, mall hop. Um That's actually a really good comedy. Um, hmm. I didn't think I was going to like it, and it's actually done really well. Um, the second one's awful. Don't watch the second one. I haven't one. seen the second one. The Man Who Knew Too Much. You I'm got pretty me... sure my mum bought that for it's you for like Christmas or something. or something. Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah, so, really random Christmas yeah. gift, I think, for you. Now, the same thing as Paul Blart. The Mask one is fantastic. The second one is god oh, awful. Oh, the Son of the Mask? Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, that's... <laughs> I wouldn't... I'd, I'd pass on that one unless you're having a bad movie night. You get The Matrix with, like, all of them. Which I'm a big fan of, even Matrix if you're not. Well. Mary Poppins, classic one, but it's very long. It's a lot longer than you, I think, a lot of people remember. Yeah, as a kid, I never realised it was that long. You got some meatloaf My meatloaf sort of. section, I'm a huge meatloaf fan. I saw him live in concert once. Three bucks awesome. <laughs> you got the Men in Black, one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. um, that's another one where the actual quality stayed. I mean, it obviously dipped, as most sequels do, but they're all quite watchable. So. Yeah. Not like the um, Alien... Uh, not Alien. Um, the ghost version of it. What's it called? Rest in Peace. R.I.P. I think. Oh, something that like was, that. That's yeah, dreadful. Okay. Yeah. Mel, which is not sort of made for TV, but it's actually got, it's got Sam Neill in it. Yeah, I remember as a kid, my mum had it like recorded off TV on a VHS tape. And we got this just because it's just just dodgy. Look at it, Merlin and the War of the Dragons. I don't remember watching that. It's obviously an ex-rental, as you can see. You got the Mighty Ducks. That's um, definitely Which yours. is actually, a lot of people don't realise the first one's because it's called Champions. Then it's the Mighty Ducks and then D3, which doesn't make any sense in terms of con con continuity. No. Uh, and then we have a fantastic five pack here. Yeah. Let's see, you've got Money Well from Power Rangers the movie, Power Rangers Turbo the movie, which by the way I actually saw both in cinemas at the time of release, Digimon the movie, and Ninja Turtles 2 and 3. Now, mm. That's annoying. Why is there only 2 and 3? I hate it when they do that. Mirror Mask? Which is Noah Pratchett, I believe. No. No. Um, what, was, what was with this one? Neil Gaiman. Oh, yeah, Neil Gaiman. One of my favourite books is Good Omens by Pratchett and Gaiman. Excellent. And what, Excellent were, what were they going to do? They were going to film it and what happened? Good Omens. Oh, something about making a donkey movie or something instead, I heard. Yeah, Monsters <laughs> Inc. 1 and 2, Moon on Rouge, would you really like the musical? Yep. The Mummy Trilogy, which first first one's great, second one was okay, third one was pretty average. And now there's the more. Fourth, fourth one. Fourth and the, another one on the way, I uh, thought I heard, that. maybe. Um, we really like our Muppets movies. Yep. I think the best See, those one. Are, those are kids' movies I can actually get on board with. Best one's uh, Treasure Island because it has um, Tim mm. Curry in it. I like Muppets Take Manhattan as well, though. Yeah, so they're... But that is good. Muppets Most Wanted, but you're not a big fan of the newer ones. No, I like the ones that I watched as a kid. They're and, just nostalgic and for And this me. one's just weird. This one I never knew existed until I was an adult. Queen Latifah. <laughs> and yes, it is as bad as what you'd think it is. I've seen worse. Definitely and seen worse. Nice little box set of The NeverEnding Story, which has all three films. Yeah. I don't think there's a fourth film, but I'm well... All right, next row. Our fourth shelf. We have four more to go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, if this gets too long, we might cut it into just two parts. That way you can watch kind of half-half. Yeah. But we'll, we'll see how we go. Oh, I've got dust, dust. off my hands. Um, so we have Night at the Museum. They're in the wrong order. Oh, no, one and two. And then Secret of the Tomb, which is the third one. Which I watched in hospital. Hmm. Um, Good I memories. had Malachi, yeah. <laughs> um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Not a not really a fan myself, but Oliver. that's Oliver. yours. Oliver. And Over the Top. Oh, we've got a whole section of yours here. Yeah, Over the Top's another great Stallone film that's really cheesy. This, meh. Yeah, I know you like Wizard of Oz films, but that sort of was... And the books, but that one I could just pass up. I'd rather just, yeah, Wizard Pans of Oz. Labyrinth. 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 Yeah, I really like that movie. It's um, a bit of a different one, but yeah. It's all subtitle, isn't it? Yeah. It's, oh, I suppose it's probably... Mm. Um, you know, an English language version, but I like watching. I'd rather watch subtitles yeah. than that. Yeah, Paranorman. Yep. Peter, Peter Pan, Pan. Return to Neverland. Which is the second one? Uh, yeah, I think so. The Phantom, not a bad one. No, as an early superhero movie, it's it's done quite well. You got Pino Pistachio. Mm -hmm. Pinocchio, and for some reason we have Piranha Two. 
Yeah, I thought we had the first one, but I guess not. Also, we have a whole bunch of our sons. Uh, <laughs> Kid shows yeah, well. up there. Um, then we have Pirate, the Pirates. Another stop motion one, which is That's pretty good. That's one of yours. Pirates of the Caribbean, big fan. Again, Johnny Depp, so that makes yeah, sense. Fourth movie is a bit sort of sus, but yep. very sus. Um, yeah, Pitch Black and Riddick, great movies yeah, to check yeah. out. And why is that? Well, because they're, they're good movies. I do like Vin Diesel, though. Yeah, you got but, a little soft spot for Vin Diesel. But they are good movies as well, I think, so. The Police Academy film. But, uh, Pocahontas. Oh, what, Don't and forget two. her. And Police Academy, the collection has got like six or eight movies. Um, the quality drops basically as soon as the first movie finishes. As a lot of sequels do, yep. yep. Princess and the Frog. Which we still haven't fully seen. No, we... I think we stopped watching partway through. We had to do something else and, yeah. You got Pulp Fiction. Yep. Keep going with the peas, with the Punisher. Um, yeah, pretty good one, although we haven't watched a lot of that one. The second, we, we tried to watch the second one, the second one wasn't good. We didn't get through the second one. Python, another giant creature film of mine. I don't think we mentioned, we had, I had Anacondas at the top, I think we yeah. kind of skimmed over that. Queen of the Damned, um, based off books, goes with Interview with a Vampire. Um, I don't know why I've got just that one though, but mm. hey. Your Rambo, Rambo which is set. the first three movies. And your very dusty... Oh, yeah, the original Power, Power Rangers, Rangers set. in a huge tin. Just yeah. such a nightmare to store. <laughs> Get that back in there. Dust magnet. Uh, then we have Rango. Which is a Johnny Depp. He voices. Yeah, that's still yours though. Yeah. Red <laughs> 2, which is a nice one. Red, great movie that yeah, one. Great action film. Um, Red 2 is okay, but we just don't, haven't picked it up yet. This is one of my really weird ones that I have. Um, Repo the Genetic Opera. Um, if you don't you know, if you have a sort of strong stomach and you like darker sort of movies, that's a really good one to check out. I think I watched that with you. I can't actually remember. Yeah, but I don't think you really liked it, so... The Rescuers and Rescuers Down Under. The Down Under one was one of my favourite movies when I was younger. I had a Rescuers plate when I was a kid. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. Which I... I've Tarantino seen, movie. Yeah. So, uh, watch out, you know, who you're letting watch that. But... Return to Oz, which is um, the sequel of... It's, it, so, it's loosely based on um, the third book, I think, from memory, but it kind of... It is... A bit of creative license It and, is bizarre. It is really weird. Yeah, really, really strange one. But if you're a big fan of kind of that world, then, you know, yeah. worth the watch at least once. Richie Rich. Yeah. From our childhood. Yeah. Um... Rio. Mm, Which is sort of, I don't know why I picked that one up. I guess it must have been cheap or something. <laughs> Same with Rise of the Guardians, Same I thing. imagine. <laughs> one of my all-time favourites, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yeah, classic movie. Really, really funny movie. Uh, Robocop and Robots, nothing uh, to do with each it's other. It's funny, the, um, the Robocop, the third movie, it's almost like a comedy. I mean, the first one was like, you know, R-rate and gore and all that. And the third one, he's driving around like a pink dress in a car with no, like, body. And it. it's just, it's such a weird shift from mm. the first one. Robots is a great one with Ron Williams voicing one of the characters. Whole bunch of Rocky movies all in one. Nice compact set. That's how it's done. Yeah, well, as the um, releases, as they kept going along the years, they eventually re-released them into smaller, more manageable Thank sizes. Thank goodness. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show, fantastic movie. Again, with Tim Curry. We yeah. seem to have a lot of those. And this one. Fuck, I bought you this, didn't Santa I? Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, digitally remastered. Oh, I bet. Such a strange movie. So the children of Mars, need, they're all sad and they kidnap Santa for some reason. Yeah, if you like really weird kind of wacky movies. I then, think I'm up on YouTube you know. if you want to take a look. But uh, Yeah, I think that's where we saw it um, to begin with. A whole bunch of SingStar games. Mm -hmm. Um, Santa with Muscles, another, another of your strange ones. Oh, boy. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> uh, he knows if you've been up to good or bad. Oh. Then, clearly another of my section, yeah. Saw movies and <laughs> Scary Movie, obviously, take mm -hmm. off of Scream, which is right next to it. Another Hulk Hogan one, Secret Agent Club, also yours. Yeah, and then next to <laughs> another average Johnny Depp thriller Secret mystery. Window, it's okay, but, you know... Uh, Serenity, which goes with the TV show Firefly, although really doesn't have that much no. to do with it. Short Circuit's another sort of childhood one with the Johnny Five. It's got to have Shrek. Who doesn't love Shrek? Somebody. Shrek, the whole story. Yeah. Um, Sin City. The first one's great. I think the second one has got polarizing reviews, but we haven't actually seen it. Only seen the first one. Uh, Sleeping Beauty, so the Disney mm -hmm. version there. There are other movies of that, but Sleepy Hollow, another Johnny Depp one. Well, not a bad one, but you know, it's okay. Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, another Disney one, of course. Oh, Space Jam. Oh, that's a classic. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah. 
Michael Jordan, Bugs Bunny. Looking yeah. Guy. We have the Tarzan based off that, actually. We do. And Spaceballs, the last one on that shelf. A parody of Star Wars. So if this is a really long video, which I feel like it is, I feel like we've been talking a lot, we yeah. might cut here because we're halfway down the shelf. Yep. Um, but we'll put both parts of the video up fairly close to each other. Yeah. All right, so you've seen the first one, two, three, four shelves. Yep. We're going to cut it in two because I think we've been talking for way too long. We just looked at the time and it seems like we've been here for quite a while. <laughs> so, yeah, with the first four shelves with the last four shelves, which mainly compose of series. And, TV shows. Yeah. And, and there's still a few movies um, to go, big box sets and stuff like yeah. that down the bottom. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll put both parts up fairly close together so that you can check out the second part straight away, kind of, if you want. Um, but otherwise, leave us a comment down below. Yeah, let us know what your sort of favourite movies are, or if you've got similar tastes to us. Cause yeah, or if very... you think we're crazy for having so many. <laughs> well, you know. Um, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, all of those good things. Thanks for watching. You're not a wiggle. <laughs> Bye. <Ta -da. laughs>